Hi everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today we have a special guest. This is Phil from NVIDIA and Phil, thank you for stopping by today. Thanks Paul for having me on Newegg TV. Delighted to be here. Uh, we're happy to have you. And uh, Phil is here to talk about NVIDIA 3D Vision 2, which is the latest evolution in NVIDIA 3D Vision technology. Uh, you guys might be familiar with the original 3D Vision that came out. It's been out for uh, a little while now, but that would allow you to use uh, NVIDIA graphics processors, GPUs, as well as notebooks, uh, and basically with a 3D Vision capable monitor, allow you to game and do other stuff as well in 3D. And uh, 3D Vision 2 being the next evolution of that uh, has some finer points to talk about, which uh, I'm going to let Phil do most of the talking about here today. Uh, but for starters, we have an array of hardware back here. So right. let's uh, start out with the hardware. And uh, specifically, since it's right here in the middle, let's talk about this Asus monitor, which is NVIDIA 3D Vision ready. That's right. This is our uh, second generation 3D Vision technology in 3D Vision 2. Uh, as you mentioned, the first one was about two years ago. Uh, so what's great about this one is it's, first of all, larger. So it's the first 27-inch one that we got. And 3D is definitely better the bigger it gets. You get more immersed in the action. Uh, and it's also twice as bright with our light boost technology. So the 3D will become uh, twice as bright for you when you watch it. And it's also uh, the best one we've had at uh, controlling the ghosting. So it's very clear, bright 3D signal, very immersive uh, when you're playing a game or watching a movie. Okay. And I notice you also have... Uh, this little add-on right up here at the top, which says, Ready for 3D games and videos. That's right. Um, what we've done with this generation of technology is we used to have a separate little emitter that, that sat here on your desktop. We've now integrated it inside the monitor. So you've got a little IR emitter there that will uh, control the glasses, uh, keep it all in timing so you get a perfect uh, 3D signal, and it's a very clean, uh, integrated setup. And as far as uh, connecting this goes, does that require, say, an extra USB cable, or does it actually go uh, natively over the DVI connection? There's two ways to connect to it. You can use your dual link DVI if you have a, a desktop system with a GeForce GTX card in it, or uh, you can also connect it with uh, HDMI 1.4 uh, now. So you can connect it to uh, your notebook that way, or even uh, PlayStation 3 has some 3D games on it, or an Xbox or uh, even a DirecTV if you want to look at um, satellite 3D coverage. So it's very versatile in terms of the 3D inputs you can use it for. Okay. And uh, let's move on to the 3D Vision 2 glasses here, that, uh, the next generation of the 3D glasses themselves. And uh, what have you guys done as far as advancements go? with the uh, new we, glasses. Yeah, we made uh, we got a lot of feedback from gamers about what they wanted in the second generation 3D vision glasses. Um, we sold about 500,000 and we get a lot of feedback, a uh, very active community for 3D. Um, so one of the first things we did was we made the lenses 20% uh, larger. Uh, and that really goes with the larger monitors. So you get a wide viewing angle, get a very immersive experience so you feel like you're really right inside the game when you're playing it. Now, if I uh, say, for instance, wear glasses myself, these will fit over them? Yeah, they're designed to fit over prescription glasses. Okay. Uh, so there's a nice cavity inside here where your prescription glasses will fit over it. Um, we've also designed the temple arms to be very thin, so it'll fit under your gaming headset. Um, that was feedback that we got on the first generation. Um, we've also added this light blocker on the top here that prevents environmental light from interrupting your immersive 3D experience. So it feels like you're right inside a 3D movie, like you're seeing a Hollywood movie like Avatar or something in the theater. Uh, you can get really immersed into the action on your monitor. And light being very important, especially for uh, 3D gaming, because uh, these are, as I understand, shutter glasses. So you're sort of switching between one eye and the other uh, actively, which syncs up with the monitor, the emitter uh, that it's using. Um, so that keeping the excess light away from your eyes is very helpful. Uh, is there anything else that has been done uh, in combination with the light boost that you're mentioning? Yeah, I mean, if we go to the light boost technology, what we are done two things with it actually. So the original 3D Vision One, the backlight in your monitor was on constantly 100% of the time, um, but some of the light got wasted because, as you mentioned, you're going from left to right eye, uh, and so now with a combination of an LED backlight, we're actually pulsing the backlight now. So uh, we're able to work with the monitor manufacturers and the backlight manufacturers to do it twice as bright. Uh, w one small drawback of shutter glasses or any 3D technology is that it's, it's dimmer. Even when you go to see a, a 3D Hollywood movie in the theater, it's slightly dimmer than the 2D. This recovers that light loss, and so you get an image that's really almost as bright as the 2D image originally now. 
Uh, so it's pulsing twice as bright and you'll get this double brightness effect. Um, so you get this fantastic bright 3D image. In addition, what we did was we um, also now, since the uh, backlight goes off, we're able to leave the lenses open more so you get more environmental light and you'll be able to see your keyboard better. So a lot of gamers, you know, especially if you're playing StarCraft, it's all about the keyboard speed. So you need to be able to see that keyboard uh, as you're playing uh, in addition to being in 3D. So it has that double benefit. So it's really a great technology improvement for 3D gaming. I also noticed they're quite comfortable. Yes. We've uh, changed the materials a lot. This is a, a high quality nylon uh, infused uh, composite material. It's very comfortable. It feels very nice in your hands or on your face. Um, and we get a lot of feedback. Um, we were both at BlizzCon a couple weeks ago mm -hmm. uh, with uh, really hundreds of gamers trying it and all giving us feedback that they love the new feel of the glasses uh, on their face, very comfortable to wear for hours of gaming. Especially if you want to play for a long time. Right. Uh, so let's move on to the last piece of hardware that we have right here, which is this uh, Asus notebook. This is a G74S, and uh, I'm seeing NVIDIA 3D Vision uh, logos on this as well. This also has the integrated uh, emitter? It does. It has an integrated emitter also at the top there. Um, so a very integrated solution. So if you want to take uh, 3D on the go, if you're going off to college or somewhere, you want to uh, take 3D with you, uh, you can do it in this uh, wonderful 17-inch full HD 3D notebook. Um, and it can work with uh, either the 3D Vision 2 or 3D Vision 1 glasses if you have them from before. Um, and that's a great way to take uh, 3D to go, and it also has a HDMI output on it, so it can connect to any uh, 3D display type, so it can connect uh, to this 27-inch monitor if you want a larger 3D image, or if you have a 3D TV, it can connect to that and also display uh, any of the 600 games that we support on your 3D TV, which is an awesome experience. And uh, for folks might maybe not looking to invest in a whole new computer, uh, but looking to uh, get set up with 3D Vision for now. Uh, NVIDIA GPUs are uh, capable of outputting uh, 3D vision and uh, what would you guys recommend as far as the minimum level for today's games? Yeah, I mean it, uh, any GeForce card will work with 3D vision uh, but you do have to keep in mind now that with uh, 3D the way that it works is you actually create uh, both a left and a right uh, viewport through the game so you're actually taking it like from the perspective of two eyes so you actually are rendering the game twice per frame uh, so you really want a little bit extra graphics horsepower. We recommend uh, GeForce GTX 560 or better. Uh, but if you can if you can arrange it, uh, SLI is also even better because you can actually dedicate one card to the left eye and one card to the right eye, and then you get full performance in stereo, which is an awesome experience. If you're doing twice the 3D rendering, having twice as many graphics cards. Just yeah, it, it works out very well. Actually, it's a good use for SLI, and it uh, really is a great setup. Uh, if you can arrange that in your in your system. Okay, so now we've talked a bit about the hardware products that you've brought by, but let's uh, shift more and talk more about the technology that's embedded in them. Uh, you mentioned the, of course, the embedded emitters that are in both of these products. Uh, uh, as far as the display here goes, uh, are there any added benefits to having that embedder, uh, that <laughs> transmitter embedded in the monitor as opposed to having it be an external USB device? Yeah, there's really a couple of benefits to it. Of course, there's the convenience of not having the extra puck on your desk emitting the IR. Um, but the other big benefit is that you can now connect non-PC devices uh, to your 3D display. So you can connect a Sony PlayStation uh, 3. They have about two dozen 3D games you can play. Uh, Xbox has maybe about half a dozen 3D games you can play. Uh, but you can connect other consumer devices like a direct TV satellite box if you want to watch the game in 3D. Uh, or even uh, next generation phones that are 3D can will be able to connect to this, which would be really cool. Things like uh, the new upcoming NVIDIA Tegra 3 devices will enable uh, stereo output over HDMI to a, a monitor like this. That would be really cool. Awesome. So um, now we're continuing to talk about this monitor because there's so much involved with it. Uh, but you had mentioned it is a 120 hertz monitor, and uh, that's necessary for the 3D gaming because you need essentially uh, 60 frames uh, for each eye to repeat. Now, let's say I'm using this for a 2D title. Does that yeah. uh, also give some added benefit? Yeah, it definitely does. I mean, one of the advantages of the active shutter glass technology is that it's a better 2D monitor. So uh, when you go in at 120 hertz, most of the modern graphics cards right now will render your game faster than 60 hertz. Uh, but if your monitor only does 60 hertz, you're not seeing every frame. It's basically throwing them away. 
Um, but now you'll be able to see every frame up to 120 hertz and you get very smooth motion. So if objects are moving quickly, uh, you'll get like a blurring effect. Um, but with 120 hertz, you'll get a very smooth uh, effect. It's actually a large difference uh, even for 2D. So we would recommend this monitor really for any gamer. Uh, even when they're in 2D, it's going to be a much better experience. So uh, smoother gaming, sharper picture, just uh, generally speaking. Well, hey, there's a great example of it right there. Yeah. I mean, televisions today are, are actually gone beyond 120 hertz. They're up to 240 hertz, some even 480 hertz, uh, really, to give you that same smooth motion. And monitors have been kind of stuck at 60 hertz for way too long now. And uh, with the graphics cards now rendering uh, usually faster than 60 hertz, it's really a great time to take advantage of 120 hertz gaming for 2D. Um, and a lot of the eSports pro gamers are now moving to 120 hertz monitors uh, for that very same reason that they get that smooth motion effect. Uh, that's much m better for competing in your gaming activities. And now earlier we were talking and you were mentioning uh, ghost busting. I'm going to separate those two. But right. uh, ghosting is uh, sometimes a problem with monitors, especially with high-speed gaming, um, right. moving from frame to frame, and you, you get that residual image that is still there. Um, is that improved as well with this monitor? Yeah, this is our actual third generation of ghost-busting technology. So uh, we put a lot of effort at NVIDIA in our 3D vision-ready monitors in, in tuning and adding technology to remove uh, what's called ghosting. In, in 3D, um, you obviously have to switch from left to right, so the monitor has to move that image back and forth very quickly. And if it's not quite fast enough, you'll get a little halo effect that looks like a ghost. You, you'll see it here where you get a little bit of the left and the right eye. This is actually taken through a lens of a, actually a competing um, monitor that doesn't have the latest 3D ghost busting technology. Uh, but what we've been able to achieve with this latest uh, 3D Vision 2 light boost monitor is a very clear image uh, that has really uh, no visible ghosting. Um, and that just creates a very clear, immersive experience. Uh, 3D is very tricky because your brain is synthesizing this to put you in that world. So when you get an effect like this, it, it kind of disturbs your immersive effect uh, quite considerably. Uh, so with the, the latest uh, ghost busting technology and these light boost monitors, you get, you're getting this bright, clear image, which is just a fantastic immersive experience. Uh, you mentioned immersion, and I know people who are looking into 3D gaming are probably looking for the most immersive experience possible. Uh, 3D definitely adds to that. Now, um, since we're talking about 3D, is it also possible to, say, use a wraparound monitor setup? Can I use this with three displays and get that full widescreen experience? Absolutely. We have something called 3D Vision Surround, which allows you to put three monitors together. If you have a, a monitor stand, you can create your own home simulator, uh, which is a completely immersive experience. Um, there, people use it quite a bit for racing games. It's incredible, uh, but you can use it for all sorts of games. Um, and you can set up uh, uh, three 3D vision monitors like this. You can get uh, racing wheels from people like Logitech with pad paddle shifters on them. Um, and there's actually racing leagues that you can join uh, from companies like uh, iRacing. Uh, but you can also play Dirt, Need for Speed, those types of games. And they're incredible with this wide 3D immersive experience. In fact, we have uh, pro racers that actually use these like a simulator to uh, get more off-track time and, and learn about new tracks before they actually go on, on the track because it's just so real with the 3D. More practice without the risk. Yes. Um, now, since you've mentioned some games here, let's move right on into, and talk about some of the software applications that are available uh, for 3D Vision. Um, games obviously being the biggest one out there. Most people are going to be looking to play games in this. Uh, and there's a lot of demonstrations. We saw a lot of it at BlizzCon uh, with actually demonstrating playing the games in 3D. I see here uh, there are actually 600 3D titles that are available now compatible with the... Uh, with 3D Vision, 3D yes. Vision. That's really the biggest benefit to selecting a 3D Vision system when you decide to go 3D for your gaming experience is that NVIDIA invests the most out of anyone in working with game developers to port their games to 3D. Uh, so you have to change the game so it doesn't take just one view into the game, it's now taking two, a left and a right, and giving you that perspective to create the 3D effect. And so there's a fair amount of software work that goes on between NVIDIA and the game developers to do that. And we've now been reaching out to them over the last three years, really, to convert their games. And we've got uh, 600 of them now converted. Um, and they also keep getting better and better at it. Uh, kind of like when you go see a Hollywood movie in 3D, you see some movies that are done incredibly well in 3D and other ones that are kind of so-so. Um, we actually do rate the games, so we'll tell you uh, on NVIDIA.com which ones are good, better, and best. Um, and the highest quality is called 3D Vision Ready. 
Um, and games like Batman Arkham City uh, looks incredible in 3D. They've done all the cutscenes in 3D. You move smoothly into the playing sequences and back. They even have some out-of-screen effects. Um, when Two-Face is flipping his coin, it'll pop right out of the screen. Um, it's just a lot of fun to play in 3D. Uh, so some of the new games are just uh, even better in terms of where they're done. And if you combine that with the latest light boost monitors and the new 3D Vision 2 glasses, it's just a whole another experience. And uh, unfortunately, we are doing a 2D video right now, right. so hard to demonstrate for the viewers, but I would encourage anyone who gets the opportunity to try 3D gaming because uh, it really does add an extra level to the gaming experience. Um, but beyond games, uh, are there any other applications that you would say benefit from 3D Vision? Sure. Um, there's over 100 3D Blu-ray movies, of course. So if you're uh, into uh, watching movies on your PC, you can uh, uh, rent or buy those movies now for uh, 3D. Uh, Avatar, I, I think, will soon be unbundled from the Panasonic TV, so you'll be able to watch that in 3D, which is which is great on a monitor of this quality. Um, the latest quality here is actually better than the latest 3D TVs. Um, so you, you'd actually get the sharpest, clearest picture in 3D uh, on a monitor like this. Uh, also, photographs looks inc look incredible. I know you were at BlizzCon with me uh, a couple weeks back, and we, we had a 3D photo booth there. Uh, and we, we can shoot those photos. Uh, and we have a, a site called 3DivisionLive.com where we, uh, we post videos, uh, you, and users can post them there. It's really a photo sharing site, all in 3D. Uh, there's thousands of photos there that you can enjoy from, from amateurs and some professional work, uh, photo competitions we annoy there. And so we at NVIDIA actually enjoy the photos quite a bit in 3D, and, and it, it gives your brain more time to enjoy the image uh, around in 3D. And lastly, of course, video streaming. So we do do video streaming. Uh, YouTube 3D has over 5,000 3D videos there. Uh, we have our own videos on 3D Vision Live as well. Uh, so there's really a world of thousands of photos and videos that you can enjoy in addition to your games. And as we see more and more consumer level uh, cameras, you see those cameras coming out now that have the two lenses that are able to shoot in 3D. It's not exactly something that's only left to the realm of professionals now. Uh, a lot of folks at home, uh, especially as you mentioned, the new Tegra 3 chip coming out, uh, yes. capable of even taking 3D pictures on phones that are set up for it. Yeah, that's right. So phones can do it uh, 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 with the dual uh, lenses. Uh, the Nintendo 3DS has dual lenses. So, uh, and then you know, consumer cameras are becoming more and more affordable. Uh, JVC and others have video cameras in 3D. So 3D is becoming more of a, a format that's more accessible to more people. So more 3D content out there, and uh, you can enjoy it with 3D vision as well as these 3D vision-enabled monitors. Right, and uh, you know, but uh, overwhelmingly, I think the biggest reason people buy it is for the gaming. And of you know, the advantage with 3D is, uh, you know, you'll be able to see your competitors before they see you, hopefully, and get more kills that way. Of course, it's all about the kill count when that's it comes right. down to it. All right, I think that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Uh, I wanted to say thank you again to Phil for stopping by and sharing all this information with us. Thank you, Paul. Pleasure to be here, and I hope everyone enjoys the 3D. All right, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, please head over to Newegg, uh, our Newegg YouTube channel on YouTube, youtube.com slash Newegg. Uh, I'm Paul with Newegg TV. This has been Phil from NVIDIA. Thanks for watching today's video, and we'll see you all next time.